Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. So I know we left on a kind of sort of a major, absolutely all, like enormous cliffhanger oh, from yeah, last we time. Did. <laughs> Where we're now accusing oh, this yeah! guy of being okay, Mask to so, Mask. Um, thinking from the previous time, which I'm sure everyone's just like, ah, you need to remember this. Um, it was yesterday that we were. Yeah. Or, no, or yeah. Yesterday. yesterday. Yeah. No, I think it's yet to be found. You do? But I don't know. You're actually right. Oh, okay. As usual, the defense comes prepared, Your Honor. Very well then, let's see what you've got. Please present proof that Mask to Mask is actually Mr. Luke at me. Yeah, um, not that uh, is Yes! <laughs> Here's your proof. What do you think, Mr. Godot? It looks to me like Mr. Trite is still a little bit might sleepy. Perhaps he'd like a big mug of my special Godot blend. Well... N no thanks! I'm fine! Really! <laughs> what do I do now? Another mistake like that and I'm through! Well, hey, actually, I can take like, like nine more. more. <laughs> I've got all I need. I don't have a thing. It don't mean a thing, cause if we ain't got, got that, that swing. swing. Proof? Of course I- I- I've got nothing. Ha! Just what I thought. A man has to hold his head up high no matter how bad things get, after all. Ugh. I see. I thought perhaps you had some evidence to back up your assertion. This is no good. I've got to stay on the attack. I'll never get another chance to prove that this guy's the thief. Don't give up, Nick. Think harder and try again. It's no good. I'm just not ready yet. But, but are you going to just give up and let us lose this? So, you've come to your senses, have you, sir lawyer? I... Uh, ah, I can't think of a counterattack at all. It seems the cloud of suspicion surrounding this witness has lifted. Um, Mr. Godot, if you have anything further to add, then... What? Uh, who? Oh, hi! <laughs> who are you? That doesn't really matter right now, does it? Mr. White, what are you doing here? Nikki boy, the thing you've been looking for, I think I found it. You mean, that bag? No, not the bag. What's in the bag? Well... The, that's... The sacred urn! Nick, it's the urn! And it's been glued. <laughs> Indeed. Order, order, order! You, madame, that urn, where did you find it? You'll never believe it. It was in the office of Mr. Fancy Pants Ace Detective, Lou Catney. Oh, Desi, you're the best! The sacred urn updated in the court record. Well, how do you explain that one, Mr. Atme? Even you're going to have a hard time weaseling out of this one. Oh. Huh. Pathetic. What do you mean, pathetic? We just proved it! <laughs> Mr. Godot, do you have <laughs> something you wish to say? Yes, Your Honor. It simply amazes me how quickly times change. In the old days, a man was to be taken at his word. It's truly sad. What? You're still denying that Mr. Atme was involved? Before casting aspersions to Detective Atme, consider the young lady here. Your name is Desiree. Desiree Delight. Is that correct? Y yes What about it? Ha! How charming. The lengths that a woman is willing to go to save her husband is truly inspiring. W what are you insinuating? Insinuating? <laughs> what are you insinuating? <laughs> As the wife of the criminal, you could have discovered that stolen urn anywhere. Including the office of the good detective here. She did kind of speed here. Yeah. So, you found the urn. What does that prove? It certainly doesn't prove where the urn was before you found it. What? I just brought it here from the detective's office! Please, madam. This town is already filled to the brim with lies. Any more could only compound the tragedy that we have been witness to. You're wrong! I would never- I would never do such a thing! 
Miss Delight. Please, Nikki boy, you've got to help me talk some sense into these people. Okay, honestly, this voice is not working for the whole I Nikki know. boy thing. I know. <laughs> I just can't. I don't know. All right. Uh, well, for me, it's like there's a weird mix between like in my brain. Probably I said this before. Carmen San Diego. Yep. And a little bit of um. Oh my gosh, I can't remember her name right now. A lot of heart. Oh, like kind of a mix of those two in my brain. Okay. But I don't know wow. anything about, like, all I've seen is she's like, oh, hey, oh, there's a blackmail in the house. Isn't that weird? Oh, hey, how you doing? Oh, Sacred Urn. Like, I haven't really talked to her much. We talked to her a decent amount. Yeah, but it's not really working. Whatever. I don't know. Whatever. There must That's be annoying. some way. I've got to prove that Urn was actually in the Atme Detective Agency. Testify about what I saw, show fingerprints on the Urn. I can't prove anything yet. Okay. Either of the first. Well, okay. <laughs> I would say either of the first two would work, but... So shall we get the bad one out yeah. of the way, then? I can't prove anything yet. But Nick! Very well. It looks like that's all, then. Exactly. And this urn is all the proof I need to make my case. What? You still don't get it, huh? Listen closely, Mr. Trite. Mm hmm This is the urn that Mask to Mask stole, right? Now the wife of the accused comes strolling in here with the very same urn, correct? Now, who would you think is the thief? Ah! No! That's wrong! That's not why I've got it! Nick! You can't let him do this! Hmm, this isn't good. There has to be another way around this. Oh wow, did we not get penalized Robert, for that? let me think it over <laughs> again! Let me think it over again! Mr. Wright, it's high time that you learned your lesson. The courtroom is no place for poorly thought out or rash declarations. I have to be careful. He won't be so nice next time. Wait, really? <laughs> okay, so should we testify that we saw the bag Here's in his the office? Thing. Last time we've tried to testify, like, but wait, I saw this thing happen. Like, nobody believes the defense attorney for the case, so probably. It worked in case out. two, too, where, like, it's like, Lana, are you sure that's what happens? Like, you were there! <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, otherwise, fingerprints would be the clear giveaway. It would show who's How? touched it. But Atme always wears gloves. That's true. Then it would just be like, well, her fingerprints are on it, so probably testify about what I saw. What's wrong? Isn't it your job to come up with something to say? Nick, come on! It should be easy to prove. After all, we checked out that bag, didn't we? You're right. I remember doing that. Whatever was in there, it was hard and round. And smooth, too. Yes! It must have been the urn! It must have! But I never actually saw yeah. it with my own eyes. Atme walked in just when I was about to have a look at it. So even if it was the urn in there, I can't That's testify what I wondered. that it was. Ah! You're right! Ha! Huh. Looks like I was wrong about you, Mr. Trait. In this town overflowing with lies, there's still a single flickering candle of truth. Nikki boy. Well, it's true, I never actually saw the urn, but maybe I can still testify about it from another angle. What about it, Mr. Wright? No Ray? penalties. Have you given up yet? <laughs> no penalties. So, yeah. Apparently not. I can prove where the urn was by the fingerprints on it. Fingerprints, eh? Oh, come now! Now you're really making me laugh, Sir Lawyer. Fingerprints indeed. May I go on? Good. Now, it would be perfectly understandable if my fingerprints were on the urn. After all, it was I who was guarding the urn in the first place. In any case, I am always in the habit of wearing gloves, as you can see. So unfortunately, my fingerprints wouldn't be evidence of anything. What about it, Mr. Wright? This witness's fingerprints would mean nothing anyway. Nick, what are you going to do now? I've come too far to turn back now. It's At the me. only one that would <laughs> It's work. the only option that we haven't done yet. <laughs> At me must have brought the urn back to his office yesterday. And there, I'm sure someone must have left their fingerprints on it. Yeah, it will be him. The defense proposes that the fingerprints of this person should be on the urn. Oh, <laughs> Just say Phoenix Wright, because it would be. <laughs> Phoenix Wright's actually the correct answer. Oh! <laughs> oh, because then it'll be like, aha! Do we see, get special dialogue if we do something colossally stupid? Probably. 
Let me give you an important piece of advice. The one who keeps a cool head all the way until the game's end is the winner. Let me give you an even more important piece of advice, Mr. Wright. You are not going to win this game with that answer. <laughs> it's so meta! <laughs> wow, even the judge is making cool, snappy remarks now. D does that mean I was wrong again? Hmm, the urn was put in that bag and carried to the detective's office yesterday. That means the person I should be fingering is... The person who left their prints on the urn yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. Do you really think there's someone that could fit the bill? Name another person. <laughs> yeah, there is. His name is Phoenix, Phoenix Wright. <laughs> and I'm Jim Collin, Ace Detective. And that's actually why you have Phoenix's profile now. <laughs> it's oh. for this. So what is this fuss about fingerprints anyway? Mr. Atme, do you recall the events of yesterday? Hey, Nick! Come on! Open it up! Hey, wait a minute! We can't just open his private property. Don't be such a fuddy-duddy! This is an important investigation! Well, what's in there? Hang on a sec. I'm taking it out now. Whatever it is, it feels kind of hard and smooth. Well, hello there! It's true that I didn't get a chance to look in the bag at the time, but I did touch what was inside. W what You touched it? And I remember it very well. It was smooth and hard. W well uh, that was just... Your Honor, I'd like the court to examine the fingerprints on that urn. That was just the lotion I bought in bulk. <laughs> <laughs> if my fingerprints are on there, then it proves that the urn was in Detective Atme's office. No way, man. Well, even if your fingerprints are on the urn, it still doesn't prove when they were put there, does it? <laughs> of course it does! What did you say? Not what I said, it's what Adrian Andrews, the person in charge of the exhibition, said. I polished it until it was just about glowing. I thought maybe I could make it look more valuable. Thank you, Adrian. <laughs> Bye, Adrian never talks again. If she polished it that much, then she would have removed any and all fingerprints on it. And the only chance I had to get my fingerprints on it after that was yesterday at the Atme Detective Agency. Ha! This blend, Godot number 107, I've decided it's a little too bitter after all. Order, order, order! I accept the defense's request. Bailiff, take this urn and... Wait. Wait a moment, Your Honor. There's no need for that. No need, you say? <laughs> Precisely. I already know Mr. Wright's fingerprints are on the urn. Wh what are you saying? Yes, I've finally broken him down. Except he's not broken down. <laughs> Take a good look, everyone! Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself! Here I am, the tragic clown! This can't be the end, though! This guy is nuttier than a fruitcake! You see, it was me all along! I am the one and only mask to mask! Oh! <laughs> wait, 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 I hope wait, you all wait, enjoyed wait, wait. my little performance! I bet he's blackmailed. I bet he's the one that oh. was gonna get <laughs> I bet that's what it is. Because I was like... That's way too easy, and there's so many things unsolved still, that yeah. I was like, I wondered if he was the one that was going to be blackmailed, and then, like, I don't mm. know, they had something. Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. Maybe it is just him, and he's being weird, and then there's, like, a second crime, second thing stolen, it's like, wait. Well, Mr. Godot, what's Mr. Atme's condition? He's still in the lobby, laughing insanely, Your Honor. I wish I could enjoy the joke as much as he seems to be. Well, it looks like the matter has been settled. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. Nick, you were right after all. Yeah. Guess Mr. Delight really wasn't the thief. Mm. The court finds the defendant, Mr. Ron Delight. Hold it. You're wrong! Wrong, I tell you! Uh, um, I mean... Not exactly wrong so much, but actually not right is what I was really trying to say. Oh no, he's not. This can't be happening. The thief? The sneaky, odious thief who's been stealing all the treasures? It's me! I'm him! I'm the one you want! I'm the thief, I tell you! So do it! Pronounce 
pronounce me guilty, please? Why would you wait this long to say that? I don't know what kind of a kangaroo court you all think this is, but... The true identity of the thief has already been proven. Please hurry and pass judge. What are you talking about? I already confessed. I'm the thief, I tell you. <laughs> Mr. Godot, don't just stand there drinking coffee. Hi. Hey there, Mr. Thief. Y yes yes sir If you're really a man, then clean up your own mess. What? I I'm sorry, I'm afraid I just don't have any idea what you mean. If you're a mask to mask, then prove it. That's what it means. Oh. Y yes sir! I will be happy to! Wow. He says he'd be happy to, Nick. It's kind of cute. He's a hundred percent committed to his fantasy. Good boy. Just remember one thing. A boy only gets one chance in his life to become a man. Um... I know that! I, I won't fail! I swear! How old is he again? Like, 23? 23. Okay, then. Talk. How We're old all is Goodell? Uh... Good is question. like an ace product? Question mark. <laughs> wow. He is shrouded in mystery, after all. Great. Maybe, like, the mask will fly off and it'll be, like, he's super old. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he has white hair. And well, but that's a like not a, white that's a beard. Weird anime thing. <laughs> that's true. Talk, we're all listening. Oh, well. Let's all have a listen to this confession. <sighs> Told you we weren't done. <laughs> Witness testimony, Mask to Mask's identity. I love how they still have dragged off the other dude and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mask to Mask. Well, this guy could be him too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The truth is, I've been Mask to Mask all along. I mean, you can't prove that I'm not actually Mask to Mask, can you? I don't have an alibi for the night of the urn was stolen, after all. I donned my costume that night and dancingly descended upon the scene of the crime. Okay. Look! You can see right there in the photo! That's me! As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and I got torn <gasps> off! Oh, That's all! Oh, oh, oh! I have an idea of what this could be. This could be a double... Stealing. Double stealing. Double two masked masks. Here. <laughs> this could totally be it. Because, it, th because there were two things that happened that night. There was one with the blackmail, which I'm now convinced may not be a part of this. <laughs> and you then, think like, oh, yeah, he ran away his blackmail my other, but that's not a No, part. no, I'm saying, like, there's the, oh, the urn was stolen, and then all of a sudden it was like, yeah, like, I work for this password security, security company, KB security. and then the blackmailing things from there. I'm almost wondering if it's, like, two thieves, or if it's like, ooh, this big companies, like, threatening the lives of these two gentlemen, and they have to, like, steal to compensate. I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> this is very strange. Hey. Boom. I don't like the direction everybody, this trial is taken. Everybody likes Marty's theories. But this is how every trial goes. At least of me, anyway. Ha. Huh. You only get a trial, like, once a year, Phoenix. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> oh, stop it, Mr. Godot. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> like I said, you're only going to get one chance to testify, all right. But if you make it through this with flying colors, I'll keep my promise too. I'll make sure you stay locked up in prison as the one and only true mask to mask. Uh... Th thanks so much, Mr. Decadeau. I'll do my best. It's probably like all hey, right. Maybe there's two blackmail letters. Maybe it's like if you get in jail as mask to mask, I will help you break out and you'll get like ten million dollars. He's like, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's the opposite blackmail for the other dude. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Mr. Wright, I'm afraid it's time for the cross-examination. <sighs> it's like a game show. <laughs> this basically is a game show. And on the right, we have for $1,000, Mask to Mask's costume. Yep. <laughs> I'm the Mask to Mask all along. <laughs> you may think you're the real Mask to Mask, but your wife thinks that you're delusional. I haven't told Desi yet. About my true identity, I mean. Believe me, I've got my reasons. With the way your room is decked out, how could she not know about it? <laughs> hmm, even thieves have complicated family situations, I suppose. Yeah, it's like, um, what's it called? <laughs> a Superman. <laughs> or, He's not a thief. <laughs> not a thief, but like, well, I can't let people know my true identity. <laughs> or, I, I can't, can't let everyone know that I'm Wonder Wheels, even though he looks exactly like me. <laughs> I can't let anybody know that I'm a vampire, <laughs> even though I, like... Never come out unless if it's nighttime. Didn't you have like a shirt on like two, two seconds, seconds ago? <laughs> <laughs> what should I do? It sounds like we're about to get sidetracked again. Eh, we're already sidetracked. Just go for it. 
So, why are you withholding the truth from your wife? Well, first of all, I don't think she believed me anyway. Yeah, she doesn't. And worry. second, if there's one thing that Desi absolutely detests, it's criminals. Um... If that's the case, then why did you ever start thieving to begin with? Well, Desi's crazy about shopping. She's a real shopaholic. Oh, yeah. But she's the love of my life, Your Honor. I guess you could say I'm a Desiaholic. Hmm. So you do have a complicated family situation after all. So he steals stuff <laughs> so she can buy more stuff. It's and they the live phantom in of the store! <laughs> no, but they're living in the smallest apartment. She's just like, I need That's more That's not diamond. that small of an apartment. We only saw one room. That's true. It could be. They don't bigger. sleep on the mask to mask blimp thing. <laughs> it could be. This is made in Japan. Now it's Japanifornia. They don't have the biggest of houses or apartments. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Please continue the testimony. I beg of you. He was talking to us there. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you can't prove a match is actually best to match. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I thought you were going to be the one to show us the proof. You know, that you're the real Mask to Mask and not just some kind of obsessed fanboy. Yeah, we already had an obsessed fanboy who <laughs> cried on this. Hey, no, that's not fair! Why do I have to do all the hard work anyway? Dude, we already had a dude crying. <laughs> maybe, we don't need another guy Maybe because you're the one making the outrageous claim for a change. I mean, to be fair, the first person who cried on uh, the stand was April May. Okay, no, I'm saying, but like, we had the weird obsessed fanboy who was like, Oh my gosh, this is him, right? He's like, I'm totally ass Pokemon! Catch him. Whoa! I Maybe mean, because you're the one making it out. Come just on, claims. Nick. You know that Mr. Delight couldn't have committed the crime. You're the one with the fancy law degree. It's time to put it to work already. I need some kind of proof that Ron couldn't possibly be mask to mask. Well, I guess if you had that kind of proof, we wouldn't still be here, would we? For the time being, maybe I need to shift strategy. I should try to show that Mr. Delight couldn't have stolen the urn. Anyway, I... Maybe he was in the car with his wife when she was like, gotta go speeding. She was on her bike, and oh. she wasn't. Oh. I don't have an alibi for the night the urn was stolen. Oh, that's probably the one that they're gonna be like, guess what? You were too You've busy got... eating noodles. It's like, no. <laughs> that would be something that would happen in this game. You've got no alibi? I've been a judge for a long time, and this is the first time I've ever heard of a defendant brag about having no alibi. <laughs> but I tell you, I was in the Wardway Taylor that night. Er, uh, no. That's too vague, even for me. To be more precise, I was in the basement where... Hold on. What is it, Nick? Where was Ron Delight when the crime happened, anyway? If we can prove he had an alibi after all, this case will be a piece of cake. Well, you're right, but... Ha. Do you think you can prove that? Wake up and smell the coffee. We can smell it from a mile away with your you put bad no breath! You put... <laughs> <laughs> no, you, know, you know coffee breath. If you I, have too much coffee. How has he not had to take a bathroom break yet? I know. <laughs> Every just, time he goes to recess, it's plot, just like, he's like, out of my way. <laughs> plot, plot twist, the dude is actually a robot. And it's just like, yup, I know how to solve and this And the coffee's case. his fuel. <laughs> yeah. No, it's like that Jetsons episode. Yes, because the Jetsons is even remotely close to reality. <laughs> no! What was that? So with the Jetsons where they were like, we have this robot that plays games, but it runs on coffee. Or maybe it was That's not else. one of the five Jetsons episodes that That's exists. the one that I saw a bunch. There's the flying suit. That was one of the the one where they get Rosie, the one where they get Astro. The one where Judy has a party at her house and they're like dancing on the ceiling and, <laughs> oh, and yeah. Mr. George and, Jetson's like, no! And the one where with the indestructible suit. I forgot about the indestructible suit. Those are the five Jetsons episodes that exist. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think maybe I can... Mr. Wright, do you have any evidence that shows the defendant has an <laughs> alibi? No, I have no evidence. Yes, I have evidence. I mean, I want to try at least, so... Yeah. We have I have the evidence! Or do you think I'm still some sort of third-rate rookie? Oh! I've never seen you this angry before! Oh, he's angry. He doesn't angry. look angry. I'm not surprised. Anger's the last refuge of the pathetic. Very funny. I thought I was more confident than angry. <laughs> well then, let's see this evidence already. Show Whoa, us the core evidence that problem. proves where your client was on the night of the crime. Well, we can... It is dead silent. It is. This is what more normal court is like, where it's like, show us your proof, and you're like... I don't have it! Yeah, like... <laughs> Are you an idiot? <laughs> yeah. Um, let's take a look at everything. One person... Actually, well, 
No, that wouldn't work. But that was, that was so close. Okay, let's think about the logic here. Let's look at the camera data first. One photo was taken. However, that could have been him. So, keep going. Um, I want to see the security cam photo. <laughs> too tall! No, um, <laughs> it was in a box. It was dancing too tall's game. Yup, exactly. Um, back. I'm curious to see the blackmail and the yeah. Blackmail letter in quotes. That's what they wrote. Your true identity. That would actually prove that he is mask to mask almost. Hold up. Yeah, that's absolutely a blackmail letter for um the other dude because he has the red ring. That's true. That's absolutely a blackmail letter for the other one. So Why is it in Ron's apartment, then? <laughs> because Ron was, hadn't given it to him yet. <laughs> Why was it even at Ron's place to begin Maybe with? Maybe Ron was the one blackmailing him. <laughs> oh, okay, that, that makes a little more sense. No. Why would he say, go to KV security? <laughs> no, maybe that's what it was. I don't know. Maybe Ron was like, wait, I found the real Master Mask. I want to be him for one day. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you need to do this thing. You need to go to this other place instead. He goes, it's like, it's like, and he's like, uh, what are you doing? So, I really want to be Master Mask. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> he gets um, arrested. He's the, other one, <laughs> the other one I'm trying to see is uh, the, the wallet. Oh, wow. Ron's wallet's at KB Security. And his wife isn't here to prove that she took his wallet. So we could pull it. We could do that. Um, the key card that's in Ron's wallet. Okay. It was. There's the, the, the brooch. <laughs> yeah, let's let's try the, the um, wallet. I just want to try Well, the it. wallet actually is the right thing. Oh, and really? And that, that advances the plot. So we're not going to do that yet. Oh, I didn't think we were supposed to even do this because you were like, are we going to do this? We're going to do the other thing. And Here's like, the evidence. Ha. Looks like I was right, Mr. Trite. <laughs> the more pathetic a man is, the more likely he is to start pointing fingers. Very funny. For some reason, the good prosecutor really wants to prove that I'm pathetic. That's because you are pathetic, <laughs> and so is your evidence. <laughs> Oops. I guess I was wrong. Again. Aha! I told you I didn't have an alibi! Wow. Well, we got I donned my costume and dancingly descended upon the scene. <laughs> dancingly descended? From where exactly? Well, from the entrance, I suppose. Where else? Um, so in actuality, he neither danced nor descended. Someone save me. Again. Isn't that what the other dude said? <laughs> yeah. I think he's descended sounding... I think he thinks descended sounded more heroic or thief-like or something. Anyway, I was there at the crime scene, just like I said. Thief life. Look, you can see right there in the photo. That's me. Oh yeah, totally. Oh yeah. This is the photo that was taken by the security camera at the crime scene. No doubt about it, that's mask to mask. Yes, but don't forget there's something important missing. Excuse the real mask to mask has a big brooch on his chest. As for my brooch, I snagged it on the door handle and it got torn off. Oh wow! And it got torn off all the way to the statue. Whoosh! It was right it next lies. to the doorway. No, I thought the doorway was over there. Or I guess it was uh, right next to the doorway, but then um he moved it. And the brooch. So yeah, it would be like oh, this stupid thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean that's what I kinda of thought happened. You didn't notice it when your brooch was torn off? Huh? Well, I'm always a little nervous when I'm working. There's a bit of clothing left on the back side of the brooch. I don't think it could have been torn off that easily. Yes, but I don't see what that has to do with anything. Right now, we're trying to prove that Mr. Delight isn't the thief, right? Yeah, I guess so. Let me hear that testimony one more time. Why does Mr. Delight want to be Mask to Mask so badly anyway? It's kind of disturbing. He doesn't seem like your typical attention-seeking whore to me. <laughs> attention whore. Unlike, say, you, Nick. I am nothing of the sort, thank you very much. But I gotta admit, it is kind of scary the way Ron acts. Anyway, time to poke some holes in that testimony of his. Cool. So, back to this eerily quiet... Yep. Mr. Delight, this wallet belongs to you, correct? Ah! Oh, yes! It does! I had lost it somewhere! 
Mr. Wright, when you find a wallet, you should report it to the police right away. Ah, no, you don't understand. This is an important piece of evidence. <laughs> evidence? Mr. Delight, when did you first notice that you'd lost your wallet? Uh, let's see. I think it was on the night of the crime. Oh, wow! But I know I still had it when Desi and I went out for dinner. This wallet was found at approximately 1 a.m. at KB Security Headquarters. What? Surely you're not serious! Yes, I am serious. This proves that Mr. Delight was in fact at KB Security that night. No! It's just two criminals, one case. <laughs> so, if the defendant was at KB Security at 1 o'clock in the morning, then that proves that he has a watertight alibi. <laughs> no! Furthermore, considering the distance between Lord Lee Taylor and KB Security, it would have taken 30 minutes to get there by car, according to Larry, anyway. That's Larry speeding, by the way. <laughs> well, Mr. Said. Godot, do you have anything to say? I like coffee. And stop <laughs> drinking that coffee! <laughs> Come on, Mr. Thief. Don't let this guy beat you. Tell him why he's wrong. Um, you're the worst <laughs> prosecutor. He's not, but he's terrible. <laughs> you're the only one who calls me Thief, Mr. Godot. Alright, I'll try. I I'll do it. I will. He's really got Mr. Delight all worked up. Yeah, he's like a kid at his first day of school. Look, it's just ridiculous. Why would I have dropped my wallet at KB Security? Someone must have planted it there to make it look like I was there and not at the heist. Planted it there? He's really reaching now. Mr. Delight, you probably dropped your wallet when you took it out to use this, didn't you? The keycard to KB Security's CEO's office. No! Ha. That was a pretty good try, Mr. Trite. What? Unfortunately, you've overlooked one small thing. What? Wh what? Motive, of course. Why would this thief go to KB oh, Security well, in the is, middle of the night anyway? This is easy. Hmm, Just well, Mr. Wright, looks like you need some more evidence after all. I mean, obviously the letters for the other dude. This stupid kid. Yeah. But we gotta use it here, cause... <laughs> now then, let's see your evidence. The evidence that shows why Mr. Delight went to KB Security at 1 a.m. that night. It's my attorney's badge! <laughs> here is your evidence. What is this supposed to mean, Mr. Wright? Huh? Well, um, don't you know? <laughs> Mr. Wright, if you're a real man, you should clean up your own mess. Wow! <laughs> oh! For some reason, it bothers me more when he says it. Probably because he's not a real man. <laughs> um, he's married to like a super babelicious hot wife. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in there. But he acts like a wimp. True. He's like the I am the like if he. Are you was... saying that men no, can't no, act girly? No, I'm saying this. If he was in a show or like an anime, he would be like the I am the noble princely character who can't do any harm. That would be him. I'm the noble one. You'll feel it's terrible about, about killing. killing. Like it's literally that. <laughs> no, then let's see your I evidence. I am your enemy. Oh man. Uh, why he went to KB Security? Yeah, blackmail letter. Mr. Delight, I believe you've seen this before, correct? Ah, uh, th that's you totally snooped for my private mail, dude. That's that's also not cool. your wife let you. <laughs> what is it? A blackmail letter. That's what it looks like from the contents. B blackmail. Yes, basically it says bring fifty thousand dollars. Hmm, that certainly sounds like blackmail, all right. At the time of the theft, Mr. Delight was dealing with the blackmailer himself in KB Security's CEO office, a full half hour away from the scene of the crime. Uh, no, 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 no! <laughs> just as, I love how he's just drinking coffee. It should spill down him. That's what it should have done. Order, order, order! So when the theft of the urn occurred, the defendant was at KB Security. It looks like a perfect case for the defense. Objection, I'm fine. You may see it as a perfect case, Judge, but to me... I'm fine. <laughs> well, let's just say that my Godot blend number 107 impresses me a lot more. What are you trying to say? You say the thief was being blackmailed by the CEO of a security company? Yeah. But, did you actually investigate this CEO at all? No! We had, like, huh? two hours to uh, do an well, investigation um, period. Uh, no, I guess not. Accusing a man of blackmail with no proof? We have a blackmail I'm not sure what I think of that. <laughs> not sure what I think of that? At least I know what I think of you. <laughs> hmm, good point. I'm not sure what I think of it myself. 
He claimed that the defendant entered the CEO's office. But you will need at least one witness to corroborate your claim, Mr. Wright. Um, Nick, I think we're going to have to track down the CEO guy. No, we don't have to track down the CEO at all. What do you mean by we're that, gonna have Mr. The wife? Trite? There is someone else who can testify. Oh, Larry! Bring in Larry! This is the person Larry! who can testify. Yes! Yes! Bring in Larry! This is gonna be great. It is Larry, but I want to see what happens if Bring in Pearl! Oh, no. <laughs> ha. That's the first time one of your jokes actually made me truly laugh. Yeah, we haven't heard from um, Pearl I haven't actually made any jokes. Not intentionally, anyway. Well, perhaps you find it funny, but I fail to see any humor in it. Oh. Problem is the key card that was in Ron's wallet. Somehow I need to prove that the card was used at 1 o'clock in the morning. There's someone else who can testify. And it's Larry Butts! Larry Butts will be coming to the rescue. Thank oh. God. Who is this useless-looking young you man? Met him. <laughs> you don't remember him, Your Honor. Hmm, not exactly. But just looking at his picture makes the bile start to rise in my throat. It looks like he doesn't remember the case from two years ago. He probably blocked out that memory on purpose. Anyway, this man was working as a guard at KB Security that night. Oh. Larry, the Larry's the worst witness. He's like, um, hey! Um, I kind of don't remember what was happening because I was listening to really loud music at the time. <laughs> you heard the bang through your headphones? Oh, yeah! <laughs> the question at hand is this card key. Also, he would yep, with the this is the key card they use in the building I work. According to the serial number, this one is for the CEO's office. You need it to get into that room and every time you use the card, it leaves a record. Yeah, it tells you exactly who entered the room and when. Hmm. As you can see, there's no need to investigate the CEO of KB Security. We should be able to discover the truth simply by analyzing this keycard's data. <laughs> Did he get filled up with water? <laughs> no. <laughs> Still coughing. He, he had to drink and then do a spit take later. Oh. It's like, wait, give me a moment. One of my favorite wild you. takes. Well, Mr. Godot, the name of the CEO of KB Security is Kane Bullard. I was unable to contact him directly, but I got the keycard data. Here. So what does it show? Each keycard has its own serial number and they leave detailed records of their use. According to this data, this card was used at 1 a.m. on the morning of the crime. So in other words, we didn't need Larry. Yep. But that means... It can't be Mr. Delight dressed as Mask to Mask in this photo. Ha. Looks like you're right. Two minutes isn't even enough time to brew a good cup of joe. Yeah, it is. So, so then... Ron Delight was clearly in the office of KB Security's CEO at the time of the crime. The prosecutor's office is ready to admit that fact. Cool. Therefore, it's impossible for the defendant to be masked to mask. Good job! You did it, Nick! That's enough. I came perilously close to besmirching the record of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of thief. Twice. Well, what's wrong, Your Honor? I'm ready to pass judgment. But before I do that, do you have any further objections? No, Your Honor. Hmm. Uh, very well. The court finds the defendant, point. Mr. Ron Delight. Not ah, guilty. guilty. Oh, is that it? Woo! Yeah, short case. Oh, that's nice. But what the heck? Court is now adjourned. I thought we'd have more answers. But we actually did use all the evidence. We did. I'm just like. October thirteenth. I thought the I thought the bribery letter was from, for the other guy. Oh, I mean, it's so Mask simple. to Mask also stole, like, the diamond. That was his first heist. Yeah. The Tier of Eminon. October 13th, 2.24 p.m., District Court Defendant Lobby Number 4. Nick! You did it! You were right after all! Actually, I'm a little bit ashamed of myself. Nicky boy! Oh, Miss Delight! I knew you could do it. I believed in you all along, Nicky boy. I don't know if I can ever repay you. Aw, shucks. Thanks, Miss Delight. I just know I'm blushing. Congratulations, Mr. Nick! Oh, pearls! I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, who is this woman? Oh, she... she's nobody. She's just, uh... You're blushing! 
How dare you do this in front of Mystic Maya? You should be ashamed of yourself! Youch! She slapped me! Um, Pearly. <laughs> oh, also? What? From, if you, you might remember from case 2-4 where Gumshoe's like, Listen, little girl, don't ever pick up a whip. You hear me? <laughs> it's like, if you like want to hurt someone, just slap yeah, them. <laughs> yeah. This woman is Miss De Desiree Delight. She's our client's wife. <gasps> Mr. Nick! Y yes? You're even worse than I thought! Going behind the back of your own client! N no! You've got it all wrong! I'll never forgive you! <laughs> Ow! A double slap! Well, anyway, all's well that ends well, right? We've got the secret urn back, and the thief has been caught! You're so right, and it's all thanks to Nikki Boy here. But actually, it was you, Miss Delight, that brought us our urn back! Thank you from the bottom of our heart. Er, from my heart. <laughs> our heart! Oh, We have please. one collective You're heart. You're embarrassing me! If we won the case, then why does this guy still look so glum? Okay, oh, be the thief. Uh, but I am the thief! Actually, what's the point? What is it, honey? I did my best for you, Ronnie. Uh, I know that, and I, I appreciate it, Desi. But the thing is... Come on. Give the kid some time. What? He's just got a little touch of the blues. You know about feeling blue, right, amigo? Take off your visor! Wait, Mr. Cadeau! What are you doing here? Oh, come on! I just came here to say thanks to my newest buddy. You, Mr. Trite. Maybe you should learn my name before you call me buddy. Yeah. Well, playtime is over. Huh? Early this morning, the body of Kane Bullard was discovered. What? Kane Bullard? Where have I heard that name before? Isn't that the name of the CEO of KB Security? The body? The estimated time of death was 1 a.m. on October um, 12th. So in other words, we have a murderer on our hands. 1 a.m. on October 12th? You don't mean... That's right, amigo. At the same time that a cheap little urn was being stolen, the CEO of KB Security was being murdered. S so then, what are you doing here? Oh, come on. You figured it out already, haven't you, amigo? Or... The dude's like, I'm Have you already room. forgotten about that piece of info I helped you out with today? Helped me out? What? On October 12th at 1 o'clock in the morning, Ron Delight was in the CEO's office. The scene of the murder. After getting that blackmail letter, he must have been imbrued with utter rage. Well, what are you saying? Imbrued with rage? Come you on. You all girls are just like, what's happening? <laughs> Don't tell me you didn't know it. Ron Delight was once an employee of KB Security. Oh, I didn't know that. He was a professional security guard. I didn't know that. An employee of KB Security? Looks like the alibi that saved him from being convicted as a thief is going to be the noose that gets him hanged. Kind of an anti alibi. No way. He can't be the thief because he was at the murder scene when the murder occurred. No, that's a lie. It can't be true. No, oh, no, oh, but I, I'm the thief, I tell you. Ron Delight, you're going back to prison again. This time the charge is much more serious. This time you'll be tried for murder. Next case, what? everybody knows. This can't, this is impossible. I'm looking forward to another exciting showdown, Mr. Trite. What, is that the next case? Be... You and I aren't through with each other yet. Surely you won't back down from the challenge. You've never been a coward. Mr. Nick, is there something personal between you two? <coughs> I've returned from the depths of hell to do battle with you. At least let me have some fun while I'm here. Truth is, it's just Edgeworth as the most relaxed, chill self <laughs> after going to, like, the Bahamas and getting tan. And a hair to dye job, and no, it, the second advisor, and grew a beard. <laughs> this guy, who the heck is he? He may be quiet, but he's the most dangerous enemy I've no, ever faced. No, he's not. We faced a dude who electrocuted us. This this and a woman nothing. who whipped us. Yeah, this is All nothing. he does is throw coffee in our face. Yeah. Well then, time to say goodbye to Mr. Delight. Um, all's well that ends well. <laughs> Nick, how could this be happening? Right in front of our very eyes, our client has been arrested for murder. And the one who established his presence at the scene was me. Ah! Ronnie! <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I I really don't want to be mean, but your I know. voice, voice sucks! sucks. <laughs> it's true! I was like, here's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently she has smokes a pack a day now. 
<laughs> Arrested for murder on the very same no, day he declared sucked, innocent of larceny. For sure, I agree. <laughs> I'm like, I'm just hoping next case there's like some weird person like eeny miny so I can be like, mm, or some, do some weird voice. I mean, your pearl voice is perfect so it makes yeah. up for it, but yeah. Oh man. Well, and here's the thing. I can do good voice impressions, it's just like, some of them are very specific. Like yeah. Pikachu. What the heck's going to happen next? To be continued. It is still the same case, actually. Pikachu! Right. Same chapter. It's still the stolen turnabout, but it's technically two cases in one. Okay. So that's kind of cool. So now you're kind of seeing why people like this case so much. It oh, starts, it is a it, part two! Yeah! Oh. But we already proved him. Innocent of the theft. Maybe I can fix her voice and be like, <coughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Desiree to my ear. Desiree. Desiree. <laughs> Just smoked I, five I, times. I pictured her having closer to an April May voice. Not that much. Nah. Like the high pitch. Here's pick. the thing. My problem was my original idea of her. I'm like, oh, she reminds me of Maya a little bit. Not like that much, but like that sort of similar tone. I was like, I can't just do like Maya twice. <laughs> I don't picture her as having Maya's voice at all. Oh my gosh. Nah. Hey, Nikki boy. Hey. I mean, I could. That, yeah, that would be way better. That would have been way voice. better. Just let's just re-record everything. <laughs> no, we're not doing that. <laughs> there was a pain in the butt when I had to already just redub old bags lines. From the I first forgot about game. old bags lines. Anyhow, oh, look man. forward to next episode. Until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day and God she bless. She looks too old to have that voice. So, anyway, God bless. <laughs>